Hey guys, this is Vera and I one and once again, I'm bringing you a walking the character about and today we're talking about Lewis now Lewis was a very interesting character Lewis isn't moody. He isn't like negative. He has a very positive outlook on life He's also a jokester. So for someone this far into the outbreak Lewis has a very unique personality I mean you'd be hard-pressed to find someone else like Wait a minute Of course, that's what they did. I mean, it's almost like the writing team just sat down and said, hey, this guy, love interest for Clem, um, what are we writing about? Hey, what would Duck be like if he grew up? Well, I guess, okay, just do that. Because that's what Lewis is like. Even the whole how he moves on pretty quickly is almost like water off a duck's back. And definitely Lewis's joking attitude, but some a deep, definitely like Duck. So that's why I really think they really drew a mass amount of their inspiration from Let's face it, a lot of people probably would have liked to see Duck and Clem grow up, so it would. it is cool that they were like, let's kind of have Lewis be Duck's spiritual successor in a sense. So, now that we know he's a grown-up Duck, what is Lewis's main attribute to his character? But Lewis actually had two big attributes to his character, in my opinion. His ability to move on rather quickly. Lewis doesn't hold grudges that long. I mean, Marlon was like a brother to him, yet he's ready to forgive AJ relatively shortly after Marlon's death, and also later on after Ten's death if he's still alive. It's also his positive outlook on things. I mean, if Clem arrives to the Delta boat and Lewis has been captured, he has his tongue cut off, yet he still embraces Clem when they first meet and he gives her a bloody smile. That was almost like, oh, the horrible things they did to me here. Oh, but how are you doing? And then when you get back to the school, he's his regular positive self again, even though he doesn't have a tongue. So Lewis doesn't hold things on too long. Water off a duck's back. Lewis also has one of the most unique backstories I've ever heard in a game. I thought, break up my parents' marriage. That hurt real bad, right? So overall, Lewis was a very enjoyable character to have around, especially this late in the outbreak. It was nice having someone who still had a positive outlook on things, who was lighthearted, a jokester, yet surprisingly deep. And I really enjoyed the nod back to Duck. Basically, Lewis is what Duck would have been like, I believe, if Duck had grown up. No wonder a lot of people liked him. Anyway, what did you guys think about Lewis? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, share, subscribe, and may God bless you all.